So we finally got the lights all the way in. I never made a video about it, but I'll show you. It's just simple, but this is the blinker. Uh, unfortunately, gotta do some more stuff with it because Chrysler's don't like what is it, low current. So there's a botch way of doing it, but these need to be resealed, taken out, and done. I'll show you the mount and bracket and how we did all that. And then I also got to put a new crankshaft positioning sensor, but I don't have that comes in tomorrow, so we'll get that put in. Probably get that put in sometime Sunday or Saturday. Today's Friday. Um, get that put in so that I can fix that issue. Other than that, should be good. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to clean off the positioning sensor. Hopefully that helps. We'll see. But let's get to it. So now for the crankshaft positioning sensor. I'm going to put the light all the way. Uh, let's do it that way. You can see it's right up there. Uh, let me see if I can find a spot for this light to stay. Come on. There we go. It's right up here. It's that sensor right there. You gotta get to it, unbolt it. I'm just gonna clean off right there and check where that goes. Which just is that line. You can see it still goes up. Oh, well, kind of. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. It's this line right there. Goes up and in. And that's also just gonna start by pulling this piece off right here, uh, right up there, pull that off, clean it, and then we'll move on to the lights. Okay, so the setup I have for these lights is pretty simple. Um, it's just a C, like basically a C looking bracket, kind of, um, that I made, cut some stuff. I'll show you guys here in a second, but basically it's just, like I say, it's out of just a, if I can find it in my messy, table that I have. I need to clean this really bad. I really do. But a lot of projects going on that I haven't been recording and I'm trying to get better at that but I will try better. So uh, I have the sheet of metal somewhere. Can't find it but I mean it's not that thick it's just this that. Can't think of size. But, so I did a few attempts, a few different designs, tried numerous different ways. Um, let's see if I can actually find one. Yeah, so I just ordered these off Amazon. They're like 40 bucks. Really cheap. Um, the, let me get back in front of the light here. Garage lighting is terrible when the car's in. So the stock bracket they give you looks just something like this. All right, just your standard L bracket. Um, that wouldn't fit um, with how it's designed. So then I started to go with something like this, try to get a little bit of a cutout for it, didn't work. Um, this was the other side. After all that testing, I went with this. Minus the light. Uh, let's see if I can get this picked up right. There we go. Okay, minus the fog and all the wiring issue. Um, I went with this right here, you just cut out right here, and there's a little bit of gap right there. I made the bracket like that with just one. It's actually pretty sturdy, I mean that's me pulling out. The only thing it does is tilt up and down, but other than that, it's actually pretty clean. Um, now I gotta figure out where this is coming from, but I'll probably just take off this face shield here instead of undoing this bolt, because to undo that, you gotta go underneath here and Oh, let's see if I can get the light in there. It's, you can see it right there, there. So it's kind of a pain to get to, but, because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. Um, by the way, if you need lights, these Milwaukee little like 60 bucks light, magnetic, and they work great. And they have two different settings. This is the high one and then there's the low. Um, um, but basically, just gotta undo these and see where it's at, and then I don't have a blinker on this side. Running a little dirty, but fix that another day. Let's keep going. Right, so you can see the overall design now, uh, a little bit easier. So, uh, which way does it go? Yeah. Yeah, like this. So, I drilled the hole for the bolt. Plus this front right up here, let's see. 
and that's just held in by that washer and that. And then I cut a hole here in the middle, um, just so that it could slide right in. And then it bolts up underneath like I showed you earlier. But, so you kind of have to cut out right here to make it so that it fits in. And then, uh, the right, right here and here. Um, so yeah, you do have to kind of cut a lot. And then this is what I meant by the wiring mess that I have going on right now. Um, until I figure some things out there. <sighs> um, with these blinkers that I have. Since it's an LED and it's low current, I need another blinker to run the other side, but so far it's just connectors can and yeah. The other side works though. That side works. Does not work. So, um took all the face ones off. But it still doesn't want to come. So I'm guessing I have to remove these ones now. And other than that, I really don't see how else this would be um sealed in there. So I'm gonna keep okay, we got it all figured out. Um just Looks like it wasn't sealed properly, or, well, properly, but not really good. Uh, there's this grommet in here that sandwiches it. Not as long as it works together, but like this. But there's no sealant around here, or there's a little bit. You can see, like, there. But that's about all I got. So what I'm going to do, because I'm impatient, is I'm going to turn this into that being hot. Oh, yep, that's hot. And now this is open, it shouldn't hold, well, unfog it and then it won't. And I'll let it sit for a little bit while I tear apart that side and uh, do that and uh, get back here. Okay, so I came to the conclusion. Let's see if you can get out of the way a little bit. Um, I didn't have this side open right here. I had this back section open, which I thought went in, but it didn't go in enough. So there's still, you can see some water droplets and things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna, instead of doing that one, I'm just gonna leave this one out, see if it airs out enough. Um, hopefully it does, and if it does, then I'll try to seal this one up, see if that works before I tear into this one, because I don't wanna do this one unless I have to. Um, but what I'm working on is, I'm painting it black, don't mind that. This air tank, uh, paint's still kinda tacky. But um, this air tank here that I'm going to put in the back in a box and run as kind of an onboard air system, a cheap version in this box right here. Uh, that box right there, that one. But for right now, uh, just waiting on this. Uh, check back a little bit later and see how it looks. There you go. That's a way better video or picture of it now. And see, there's just a bunch of fog in there. So hopefully this being open fixes the issue. I'll even turn it down like that, just because I'm going to reset completely, and hopefully that helps. All right. All right. So I never showed you guys what it actually looks like driving. So let me turn off the headlights, and that's. It's not the brightest thing, a little bit brighter than you turn the headlights back on. It gets pretty bright, but um, that's what they look like all done. But I didn't get to seal them because I ran out of time. I couldn't find my sealant and it's now five in the morning and I have to go to work. So, but that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.